Don't waste your money. Most website builders like Bolt, Lovable, Replit and WordPress look cheap at the start until you're six months in and paying for hosting upgrades and the so-called must-have features. And it's not accidental. This is a vortex. Once you build your site there, you are locked in. And from that point on, you just keep paying. In this video, I'm gonna show you why free hosting, a free domain and no subscription is the only model that actually makes sense for building websites in 2026. Here's why. Using this app, I've already built and published 615 websites in the last six months. Every single one of these is hosted 100% free. Now compare that to a traditional platform. If those same 615 sites were hosted on WordPress for just 12 months, it would cost $73,680. This number isn't made up. It's just how these platforms are designed to work. It is their business model. But there is a new way to build websites now. So let me build a website from scratch and show you just how powerful and easy this new approach really is. This custom website will be built in less than five minutes and it will include multi-pages, robots.txt, llms.txt. And in 2026, this is super important and I'll explain why a bit later. It also includes schema markup. There'll be no React. This is just pure HTML for fast indexing by Googlebot. A free domain, free hosting, and no subscription. Let's get started. Okay, so to do all of this, we're going to be using gitpage.site. It recently launched on You Need, and it's got a bunch of five-star reviews. So if you want to check out what people are saying about Gitpage, you don't have to take my word for it. Come on to here, have a look at these reviews. Rather than sort of explain how Gitpage is going to work and what it does, I'm just going to build the site and you can just see for yourself. So to get started, we just hit get started. Once we're in, we just go to new site and we get this page here. Now I'm going to use this AI fast mode with a local business site build and you're going to see how quick this actually processes. So we'll go to fast mode, local business, select your language, we'll go English, we're going to go for Starbucks Coffee Chadston. This is going to be, say, a store that says, can you build me a local website? So we're going to build this website for them. Hero statement, we'll just go with the same, Starbucks Coffee Chadston. It automatically will start generating the features. It'll automatically generate the benefits. Automatically adds an FAQ. Now we just enter in a contact email. Call to action link, we'll leave that as the same. Now we'll add a service page, we'll add a contact page. You can add blog, we better have privacy and terms of service because it's a local business. Next, now this is where we can import details. So if the business already exists, we can just go to import. Now if I go into Google Maps, I've actually found Starbucks Coffee Chadston. All I need to do is copy the URL from the map, paste that in here and this is real time, click import. In one second, we have all of our details filled in including the Google rating, the total reviews, and the business hours. All of this is going to be used for our website build. And the rest of it will be done by AI, and it'll select its own design system for the site. Now, in about three minutes, this will be built. Now, if you're enjoying the video so far, you might also enjoy my school community. If you are passionate about building and selling stuff online, you need to know how to build, you need to know how to get traffic, and you need to know how to automate this stuff to increase the speed and cut the cost. So if that sounds good, come over and join my community. So that took a couple of minutes. Our site has been built and we can take a look at it. This is it here, Starbucks Chadston. Got the hero section, got all our opening hours, all the other details you might expect from a, from a coffee shop kind of local site build. If we scroll down the bottom, we can also see we've got the service page, contact page, privacy and terms. If we go over to the contact page, you can see it's brought in the reviews, the number of reviews, the, the star rating, we've got the address, all the opening hours, and we've also got the map and a working contact form. So we've got all the basics there. Everything's looking pretty good. Now we can do some of the more technical stuff, but it's going to be super easy. If we go back to Git page and we just click on it, we can open the edit modal. Now, if we work through our list, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the, the robots.txt file. So we just go here and we're going to click this and generate. So that's done. 
Next, we're going to add this new text file. It's called llms.txt. Again, it's going to be super easy, but it's super important if you're building a website in 2026. So we'll just click on this one. We're going to generate it. So you can see also on the left now, we've got these two new files that are in our repository. So next on our list is the schema markup. And to do that, we are going to go down here somewhere and click on schema markup. All right, so that's all done looking good. Now next on our list, or may not have been on our list, we're going to build a site map as well. All right, so not only will Google be able to find us really easy and crawl the site, the website information will also be able to be consumed easily by large language models. And if we go over and take a look at the llms.txt.org page, it explains why this is important. So basically, it's a proposal to standardize the use of this file to help LLMs use website information and it explains why it's important and the reasons for adopting this. Now, Git page has it built in and it's one of the first platforms to actually incorporate it. Now, we can see up in the top right, there are four files that are ready to be published. Now, I'm not going to publish them just yet. I want to show you what happens before and after these files exist in terms of the AI being able to consume the website information and also Google being able to find it. So if I take a copy of the URL, and we go over to this website here called Hey Emmett. We can actually check the AI visibility and the Google visibility. So if I paste the URL in here and I check it, we should get not found against most of these important files. So robots, not found, sitemat.xml, not found, and llms.txt, not found. So this is not good at the moment, but if we publish the, the changes, we should get the update here and we'll, we'll see that it's all in place. So to publish the changes, super easy. We just hit publish all. Okay, so our website has been republished with those changes. And now if I update the URL to include a forward slash llms.txt, we can see what that file looks like. And that's it here. So we can see it's there. Those changes have come through and they're live. And if I go back to the AI visibility checker and we rerun this, we can see we're getting green ticks across everything. AI crawlers can access the site. Sitemap.xml is detected. And we also have llms.txt detected and LLMs like Claude can access the structured information about the site. So super easy couple of minutes to build the site and get it AI and Google ready. Now, a couple of other bonus features that our users have requested that I want to show you as well. If you want to edit the metadata, it couldn't be easier. Just click on edit meta. And this is what by default has come in. And you can see here by default, the meta title is a little bit longer than probably what it should be. And the meta description is a bit longer as well. So rather than you know, work our way through it, we're just going to get AI to fix that. Okay, now we're 44 out of 60 and 134 out of 160. And we get the preview. That looks great. I'm just going to hit save changes. So our metadata is updated and you can do that for each page. The other thing you can do is you can unify your headers. So if you want to change your headers, we can do that by using the update headers, which is here. You can do the same with the footer and you can build new service pages. So the entire app is made to rapidly build a site that is Google ready, AI ready, and does not cost a cent to host.